Well, ho, 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 and Merry Christmas out there. Uh, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Jeffrey Morgenthaler's famous Clyde Common Eggnog. So let's go over what you're gonna need first. First of all, 12 eggs. Crack those into a large bowl. Then you need 18 ounces uh, by volume or 450 grams by weight of super fine sugar, also known as baker sugar, also known as caster sugar. Uh, any of those would be fine. Don't use regular granulated sugar. Do not use powdered sugar. You want this very, very fine sugar because it's gonna dissolve better into the eggs. Then you want a um, Añejo tequila, something with some age on it, something kind of nice. Uh, I'm using this Casamigos uh, and you want 15 ounces of that. So a little bottle like this should be just fine at 375. Uh, one of the harder ingredients to get, Amontillado sherry. Um, you want 15 ounces of that, so make sure to grab a 750 milliliter bottle. I've already measured that out. Moving on to the dairy ingredients, we've got um, 24 ounces of heavy cream and then 36 ounces of whole milk. And then for serving, you'll also need some nutmeg, but we're not going to put any nutmeg into the blend. All right, are you ready? Let's do it. So we're gonna take the eggs, first of all, and if you have a stand mixer, you can do this in there. I'm using an immersion blender and set that to a very low setting. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna beat the eggs until they're smooth, so let's go. Just like that. Whole seems good. You don't want too much foam, but a little bit of foam is okay. Looks pretty smooth to me. Now, we're gonna slowly add the sugar until it's incorporated and dissolved. So we're gonna stream the sugar in. Here's how we do it. See there, I poured a little bit too much, so I'm slowing down the pour a bit. Same thing right there. Make sure that's all blended in. It's like if you're making fancy pour over coffee. That's the kind of pour speed you're going for. Too fast. Still on that low speed. But trust me, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth the time. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I'm just gonna get some off the sides here if I can. Solid. Okay. Next, we're gonna add the sherry, the tequila, the milk, and the cream also slowly in the same way. So I'll start with the sherry. Tequila's coming next. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. 
Now it's starting to look like we're losing, we're, we're running out of room in this bowl. So I'm gonna get a bigger bowl, which you may also need to do at this point, and carefully transfer it. This is the big boy. Only comes down for special attentions. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Lots more room to work, that's what we wanna see. So we're going with the milk and cream next. It doesn't matter the order, but I like to do the milk first. all the way down to the bottom if you're doing an immersion blender you don't want yolks hanging out down there this is starting to smell like this time of year Next, we're almost there. Creamy! bottle this and then refrigerate it at least overnight but you can let it keep in the fridge for about up to a year um, the alcohol will make make sure the eggs are okay um, and then before you serve it you want to just use a microplane and dust some fresh nutmeg on there if you've got nutmeg in a jar I'm not gonna blame you uh, I wish we could be together for this holiday but I hope the eggnog brings you some joy bye